And with Rosie Napravnik, who will be on My Loot on Saturday, can you tell us a little bit about how your experience has been since you rode Pants on Fire in 2011 in the Derby, and then this year riding in the Derby, and how My Loot has been? Uh, you know, it's it was such a great experience when I rode Pants on Fire in 2011, and you know, uh, the goal has just been since then to get back to the Derby, so I'm really happy to be here and aboard My Loot, who is a horse that I'm really excited about. Um, I rode him one time at Fairgrounds uh, and won an allowance race in Impressively, and I've also been on him uh, quite a few times to breeze and he's just a horse that's really coming around and maturing a lot and I think you know might be getting good at the right time so I'm um, very excited to be back at the Derby and and coming in in this in this form with this horse. Now you were on 60 Minutes yesterday you've had a lot of attention around you not only because of that but being with the sixth woman to ride in the Derby what has that been like? You know it's just been really such an such an exciting experience and you know the 60 Minutes piece was just uh, you know, it's really great to, to, to be on such a you know, popular uh, show that everybody really watches. Um, and I didn't realize how many people watch it until, you know, they knew that I was going to be on and everyone was congratulating me. So it's been such a positive um positive thing for the industry and you know especially coming up at this time of year for the Kentucky Derby so uh, it's all just been very exciting. Now I can relate with it being in sports but what's it like being a female in such a male dominated profession? Um, you know it, there have been times that you know I feel that sort of pressure of being the female against males but um, as far as actually the riding and the races and, and all that you know I really have come to a point where I have the respect to the male jockeys and you know I respect them very much as well so you know most of the time I feel like it's just one of the guys <laughs> and you know I mean I grew up in co-ed sports and I have an older brother who's my best friend who's two years older and you know he was ta you know roughing me up my whole childhood and you know I was always trying to live up to his, his and his friends expectations um, you know I never wanted anybody to give me a break so um, you know it's just naturally I ended up in this sport where you know I'm surrounded by men all the time but you know we all get a long and like I said we have the respect so. Now you've com accomplished a lot at such a young age. Do you put a lot of pressure on yourself especially before such big races? Um, I would say I put a lot of pressure on myself um, just in general and it's something that my husband always reminds me of to just relax and enjoy it you know now that I've been able to accomplish some really great things so um, you know I, I take what I do very seriously but it's also so much fun at the same time so um, I do put pressure on myself but at this point I mean things like going into the Kentucky Derby or winning the Kentucky O's last year it's just so much fun. How do you mentally prepare yourself for a race like the one on Saturday? Uh, well, what's nice about uh, our sport and, and, you know, going in the Derby as opposed to if I was going into the Olympics or, you know, another big sporting event like that is I'm, we're riding from Tuesday until Saturday, just like, you know, any other week. So I have a lot of things to focus on in the meantime to keep my mind, you know, off of, you know, getting uh, too anxious or nervous about it. And, you know, I'm not really a nervous person anyway, but um, I'm generally very focused and, and just, you know, do a lot of studying and just preparation and the more prepared I feel the less pressure I feel. Well thanks Rosie and we wish you the best of luck on Saturday. Thank you so much.